Like many photographers, Adobe Lightroom is the core of my photography workflow. I use it to manage my images using the excellent Lightroom catalog system, and I use it to process many of my shots. Consequently, I'm always interested in what Adobe has planned for the app. Lightroom's raw processing capabilities have improved drastically over the last five years from a very basic feature set to one that makes Photoshop redundant in nearly all use cases. With the excellent Pano and HDR merge tools, the recently introduced AI Enhance, the brilliant AI masking tools, and the color mixer all recently introduced, Lightroom is about as close to an all-in-one solution as you're likely to find anywhere. The question is, what does the future hold for Lightroom? And what kind of features can we expect Adobe to introduce next over the course of 2024 and 2025? Would it surprise you if I said that it was going to involve a ton of AI? I'm not claiming to be some crystal ball gazing Mark Grumman type industry speculator, but there are some pretty clear indications of the direction that Adobe are taking with Lightroom. In every corporate entity on this planet, middle managers with PowerPoint decks have been pushing the board to embrace AI, which is ill considered since middle managers are, of course, going to be the first ones walking out the old front door with a box full of executive toys and their framed MBA business diploma. Adobe might have seemed like they were a bit slow on the uptake, but you don't get to dominate a market the way they do by failing to notice the single most revolutionary tool since the Remington fuzz away. Google it. Adobe have, of course, been slowly introducing AI-based tools into the app over the last couple of years, some of which are more obvious than others. The auto button in the develop module is not labeled as AI, but Adobe trained their Sensei model based on how photographers edit their shots and used that to create an intelligent auto system. Over the last couple of years, we've got some incredible new features in Lightroom. As a landscape photographer, the two that have been the most used to me our AI Sky Mask and the AI Enhance tool. Adobe's AI masking is the best in the business and it's complemented by mask refinement tools that make it far easier to isolate sections of a photograph. All that being said, there are obviously some gaps in the feature set and some tools that have been added to other apps that would be nice to include in Lightroom. The Enhance tool, for instance, is a bit clunky. If you want to use both raw detail and AI denoise, then you need to use raw detail first because you cannot reprocess an image once AI denoise has been applied. And if you use super resolution, then you cannot apply AI denoise either. If we look at the features included in other photo apps produced by smaller and more nimble companies such as Skylum, then we can identify some gaps in Lightroom's toolbox. The most notable missing feature from my perspective is focus stacking. Currently, this is just about the only thing I use Photoshop for, and it would be great to see it included natively in Lightroom. Luckily for us, Adobe have tipped their hands somewhat, indicating what future features might be available to Lightroom users soon. They regularly conduct Q&A feature surveys with their customers and the questions they ask have historically proven to be really strong indicators of future inclusions. Here is what Adobe have been asking about. Adobe have evidently been paying attention to the popularity of cloud-based AI editing tools such as Imagine, because AI batch editing figured heavily in the Q&A. These types of tools are geared towards professional photographers who might ordinarily hire a photo editor to process images from a shoot. So for instance, a wedding photographer will outsource the processing to a freelancer so that said photographer can spend more time actually photographing weddings 
and not picking the one out of 30 different shots of the same moment. The idea of this AI-based batch editing tool is that Lightroom will learn how you process your shots by analysing your use of sliders and apply suitable edits to an entire folder of images. It's the sort of technology we couldn't really have imagined as that was five years ago, but here we are in 2024 and it is a reality. Using a tool like Imagine works out cheaper than a professional photo editor at just five cents a shot. And having this built into Lightroom would of course be even cheaper since it would be included as part of your subscription. Not a great time to be a freelance photo editor then, and also probably not a great time to be investing in Imagine, if Adobe do choose to include this. Lightroom already has smart collections, which are created dynamically based on conditions related to metadata. All five-star shots taken on a 15mm lens, for instance. And while those are handy in certain specific circumstances, they don't help much with the subject matter in a photograph. And if you want to see how useful AI smart albums could be if Adobe implemented them, then I suggest you take a look at Peak2's amazing AI search, which can do this already. An example of an AI smart album could be sunset landscape photographs taken at the beach or daytime cityscapes, which include a bus and a taxi. The search results will be compiled not from metadata that the camera or the photographer added to an image, but the content of the photograph as described by Lightroom. One of the few tasks I use Photoshop for these days, apart from whipping up my algorithm of verse thumbnails, is object removal with the generative tools. Having these located within Lightroom would be extremely handy and a great complement to the existing healing tools. Any changes made to a photo would, of course, result in a new file, a DNG or a TIFF, so it would be a tool to be used at the end of the processing workflow in order to best utilize the data in the raw file. Typically speaking, generative fill is a far better way of removing problematic areas of photograph, and the worry is that it would further push landscape photography into the realms of fantasy in a professional setting where a specific outcome is required for a photo, these tools are extremely useful. Many of the features that cropped up in Adobe's Q&A email are logical additions to Lightroom and AI de-blur and sharpen fall squarely into that territory. Previously, I used to use Topaz Lab Sharpen AI at the end of a processing workflow if I thought the photo would benefit from it. But Topaz have abandoned the standalone Sharpen AI tool and rolled all development into their far inferior all-in-one Photo AI app. So it will be useful to have AI sharpening native to Lightroom. The main problem I envisage with its introduction to Lightroom is that Adobe wouldn't give us enough control over the sharpening process. To make it really useful, it should also be applicable to masks, not just globally. Yeah, I'm calling it an AI co-pilot, but that name's already taken. And Adobe will come up with something else equally boring sounding. AI photo guru, AI guide mode, AI don't you worry your pretty little head about it mode. I'm not a fan of these tools because I know my way around the apps I use, but I would imagine it would be a welcome addition if you were new to Lightroom. This co-pilot tool would basically hold your hand to provide guidance on edits based on the content of the photograph. I'm also guessing they designed this such that you could apply the suggested settings too. So in that sense, it would be like a supercharged version of the auto tool with added feedback. Already mentioned I'd love to see a focus stacking tool in Lightroom, but there are other features that other apps have that would also be welcome additions. Probably the most obvious one that springs to mind is the automatic dust removal and power line tools as you'll find in Luminar Neo. An AI-based dust removal tool is extremely handy for when you're photographed anywhere with stuff in the air sea spray, dust, sand or snow. The implementation of 
dust removal in Luminar is excellent. And I really can't believe Adobe haven't pulled their fingers out and added these ones yet. I'd also love to see Adobe make the Lightroom interface more configurable than it is now. While you can move or disable the develop modes panel order, you can't position them on the left of the screen instead or undock them completely. So that's my take on Lightroom's future based on those questions Adobe are asking their customers. If you use Lightroom yourself, what features would you like to see? Let me know in the comments section down below. If you like this content, please do like it and do subscribe to my channel as well for more photo, video and drone related content from me. Till the next time, guys. Ta-ta.